thecrafterworld.com. I'm Michaela, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my scrap metal sausage dog sculpture. It's so simple to make and I think it looks really cool. The items you'll need to make the scrap metal sausage dog sculpture is a claw hammer head and washers for its head, two horseshoes for its legs, a thick steel bar for its body, a longer but thinner steel bar for its tummy, and then a short steel bar for its tail. Now you can substitute any of the items for something else to put your own twist on the design. I've seen some people use a spring instead of the steel bar as the body and that looks really cool too. So as you can see I'm actually using a masonry drill bit for the tail. I just use whatever I can find in the scrap bin that I can weld. <laughs> I'm going to create the tail shape by putting about a quarter of the material into the vise. It doesn't have to be precise. Do it up nice and tight and then I'm just going to bend it over with a hammer. And that is all I do to create the tail shape. The next part of the sausage dog that I'm shaping is the tummy. So the tummy bar, which is the thinner steel bar, has to be longer than the body steel bar so we can roll it. You can roll it as little or as much as you like. I bring this over so I can just check and see if it fits. We can always cut it down as well. I'm using the hand rollers to do this. And there is my rolled steel tummy bar. I'm going to see what it looks like against the actual body. I'm quite happy with that size. If your bar does need cutting down, I usually use the bandsaw to do this. That's all the shaping you need to do for this sculpture. And now we're ready to tack it together. But as you can see, the horseshoes and the steel bar are a little bit rusty. So I'm going to use a wire brush and just brush over the places that I'm going to be welding. I'm using my Miller Destiny 280 TIG unit to weld my sculpture together. You could use MIG for this, but I prefer to use TIG as it's more precise and a little less messy. So everything I'm welding today is steel. So I'm on a DC setting and I'm up to 145 amps on a foot pedal. In my torch, I'm using a 2.4 lanthanated tungsten. And for my filler material, I'm using ESAB steel filler rod, but I'm using 1.6. The first part of the sculpture that I'm welding together is the claw hammer head and the washers. This is quite hard to do as the hammer head is a lot thicker than the washers. My top tip for this is to add filler material to the claw head before adding the washers. Then you can just fuse the filler material. As you can see, I've added some filler straight onto the claw hammer head. Now I'm going to take my pliers and my washer and just fuse the filler onto the washers. And that is my washers fused onto the hammer head. I'm going to pop that to one side and now tack together the body. The first part I'm going to tack together for the body is one of the horseshoes and the thick steel bar. Now I'm going to place this in the centre of the horseshoe and tack it on. Now my bar is solid so I'm going to tack it autogenously which means without filler. Once I've tacked it in place, I check that it's in the centre and I'm happy with where it is and then I add the other horseshoe to the other end. Yeah. 
Now that's the body tacked together, I'm happy with where it's placed. I'm now going to add the rolled steel bar as his tummy. That's the body all tacked together and now I'm going to add the head. You can add this to either end, it doesn't matter which, as long as you add a head to one end and a tail another. I'm going to make sure the claws are in the middle of the body and I'm just going to tack it on there again. That's the head tacked on, and the last part to tack on is the tail. I'm going to line this up with the body, making sure it's in the middle. And that is the sculpture, tacked together and ready for fully welding. Once I'm happy with everything in place, I'm going to go around and fully weld with filler rod all of the places where I've just tacked. And there you have it, a scrap metal sausage dog sculpture. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do make any sausage dogs, be sure to tag my Instagram as I'd love to see them.